Hi YouTube. So I thought I'd come on and do a quick unboxing of my Scrawler box. This is an art subscription box out of the UK and it's a monthly subscription and it's just kind of a surprise. And I really like it. So I'm in California and so it is, I think it's 20, I think it's $20, not 20 pounds. I think it's $20 if you're in the UK. There's $5 shipping for the US and so I pay 25 bucks a month to get this little box. And, you know, I get this, I think most people when they're looking for art subscription boxes look for a kind of value in terms of cost. And I don't, I actually don't do that analysis to really know, um, there are plenty of other channels that do that. I think for me what I really enjoy about these subscription boxes is that uh, I'm not, I'm not an artist. And, but I enjoy art and I mostly do watercolor. And so what this allows me to do is to try different art media and just different techniques and different supplies that I wouldn't have even thought to purchase or know what to do with. So I just really like it. And this is maybe my eighth month or so getting a box. So I just thought I'd open it for you now. So today is October, I think it's the 17th. And um, usually they ship a box like the 17th of the month for that month. Because I'm in the U.S., it does take quite a while to get here. Um, coronavirus doesn't help that. So um, it is around October 17th, but I think this is the September box. But um, don't quote me on that. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and open it up. Um, hopefully, if you are a, a Scrawler Box subscriber and maybe haven't gotten your box yet, then just in case it's a spoiler alert, please don't uh, watch any further. Okay, so let's open it up. So every month it comes with this box. I actually really like this square box. It's really cute. It looks the same as like a scribble. And then at the top there's this scrawler box and this really cool scrawler challenge that, which I really like because that kind of allows me to decide what to do with it. So it has the little, this is their little iconic sticker. And every month has a theme and you can open it up and you see what the theme is for that month. It's like getting a present. Oh my gosh, there's so much stuff in here. Oh, this is so exciting. <gasps> okay. Um, so this month, oh, it is September. Good. So it is a, po they are Posca markers. I have a gajillion Posca markers, but I may not have Posca markers this big. Oh, I probably do. But um, I love Posca markers and use them a lot. My kids have been using them a lot lately to decorate pumpkins. So these are great and they're pretty colors. Um, it says it's time to get creative and dig deep into your imagination. With this month's box, we want you to step away from the landscapes, portraits, and observational drawings and create something never seen before. Invent a creature or character that may have similarities to something else but has never previously existed. Oh, that's <laughs> that kind of imagination, while awesome for my kids, it's hard for me to do. This newly created character needs to come from your imagination and be born onto the page. This is the first time it will have existed, so don't forget to name them and create a little backstory too. Actually, I'll probably do this with my kids as well because they will love a prompt like that. So it comes with Posca pens uh, in different sizes, a uh, pigment liner, a Stittler 2B pencil, 2B is my favorite, and some uh, paper. So it always does come with some sort of medium and um, or substrate and then the the art supply for that month and there's always a theme this one is acrylic markers and then there's always a challenge um of what to do with that month's box so it kind of gives you kind of a jumping off point of what you should do with the supplies for that month which is what i really do like because um, often, sometimes it's just so foreign to me i don't really know what to do with it so i like that it gives me some direction they have a sticker every month um, and it's always the scribble and the the background color will vary depending on the that month's theme it's really pretty. Um, it always comes with a candy, which I actually really, really love their candies because I'm not familiar with them. I'm not familiar with British candy. And so I love getting these because they're, they're totally new to me. This is something called drumstick in rhubarb and custard flavor. Um, it's soft like a Laffy Taffy, if you know Laffy Taffy in the US, but I have no idea. My kids will love these, so I'll share that with them. And then here we go these pretty pastel colors, purple, tealy blue, and corally orange, and the five millimeter, black and white, and the three millimeter, the Stadler, I actually have a lot of these Stadler pencils from them, and then this pigment liner, Faber-Castell, I really do like, 
And then, oh, they now come with this like scrawler zine. Oh, I love this. So they, the theme is based on an existing artist. Um, and in the back they'll have the featured artist. This is SP0 as a little blurb about the artist where you can find them on social media. And they're just kind of like their artwork. And I love that they feature different artists and then we get to see not only a representation of their art, but their art using the supplies that we were given. So sometimes when I have I literally no idea what to do with the materials, because I'm so unfamiliar with them, I kind of use the artist's rendition as inspiration to decide what it is I want to do. So this looks very kind of whimsical. It comes with a scrawler zine, which I find very helpful sometimes. Again, when something is really foreign to me, I find that this is really helpful. With the, They give you tips on what the art supply is used for and how to use it. And then galleries from prior art projects and things like that. Here is the marker pad. Oh, it's a marker pad. Um, so this is... I'm going to take off a piece of paper. Art Gecko Sketchbooks, 250 GSM, 10 sheets. And I will, yeah, why don't I swatch the supplies? So this is the Stettler Mars Lumograph Black Pencil in 2B. Again, as I said, this is my favorite sketching pencil. Um, dark enough that I don't have to press too hard, but light enough that I can actually erase it with how I use it. Here is, oh, well, maybe I shouldn't do this here because as everyone knows with Posca's, they will take 30 seconds to just get the, let me see, the ink rolling. Yeah, I'm gonna have to, as you know, Maybe I'll do this and speed up the video. Let's see. Ooh, look at that. I love when the you can see the ink coming down and starting to fill up. Ooh, opaque Posca markers are lovely. Um, these are especially great for rocks, for pumpkins, and things like that. I'm gonna kind of do that, and while I do that, I'm gonna do the purple one. I'm gonna do that as well while that comes down. Right, coming down. Oh, there we go. This one is coral. Oh, such pretty colors. So, I'm supposed to come up with a mythical creature. Um, again, I'm gonna have to. Uh, consult the most creative person I know, my six-year-old daughter. Maybe she can advise me on the best imaginary creature out there. I'm not going to do the black and white. We know what black and white Posca pens look like. This one is just an eco-pigment. I don't know that... I actually don't know what it means to have pigmented ink. Oh, it's waterproof, of course. Well, that's really important. Um, is that what that means? I don't know. Okay. And those are, those are the September Scrawler Box items. So yeah, I, I highly recommend them. I, I just find that, you know, it's nice to, I actually find having a foreign source for an art subscription box kind of more fun and more interesting. Um, just cause it's, I don't know, it seems a little different. And I actually, I just, I like Scrawler Box. I think they're a great um, subscription box. Thank you very much. Bye.